Well, the Merriam-Webster di dictionary definition of a hack is a clever tip or a technique for doing or improving something. And we are always looking for tips to help us in the kitchen. So here with our home economist hacks, please welcome Marilyn Smith. <laughs> teaching us a little something or something um, in the kitchen because that's what home economists do. Right. Now we're calling them hacks. So give us some of your hacks. Okay, you have so, so many. I know. This is kind of my life. And this so is your when, life. When people call them hacks, it's like, no, no, that's what I do. This anyway, is what so I do. Come on down over here because this okay. is like the play area. All right. So. Well, this is where the chocolate this is. This is where the chocolate is. Let's All right. start here, shall we? So people think hardware stores are for hardware. No, they're <laughs> right. for the kitchen. You can do things with hardware stuff way cheaper than going to a kitchen store and buying something that's a specific tool. Okay. For instance, like? you can buy like a $75 chocolate pick mm -hmm. or you can go to the hardware store and get a chisel. Oh, or you and can just use your teeth, guys. <laughs> That's what I yeah, do. Okay, but that if this is for like chocolate chunk cookies or oh, something, or if I, I was going to melt it. So it's a really, really neat idea. I have a really old one, but it was so disgusting I didn't bring it, so I bought a new one. Right. Okay. <laughs> you were embarrassed, right? I was just like, like, I, I can't bring it on that. TV. <laughs> They'll think what she's been doing, some hardware, and now she's using chocolate. Uh, and you just use it in the kitchen, I obviously. I just use it in the kitchen. Don't take it out to the garage no, when you're done. do not cross-contaminate. <laughs> You, got it. you know what? We've got raccoons. You never know. They're dancing around in your shed. <laughs> anyway. um, okay, these are these are like little paint brushes that are really handy, but they're really good for cleaning crevices like in a food processor okay. or in a blender when you can't reach in them and you That's can't get true. the cloth. Yeah. So and they're like they're just so cheap. Right. Um, you know, I, I have this on my on my counter because all the stainless steel kind of they're okay looking, but I like the look and it doesn't rust. So right. if you do have stainless steel in your house, if you put that on it, it's not gonna go rusty on you mean terracotta. These things, the terracotta. So the Terracotta. Plate. This is like what I would get in a hardware store for a gardening thing. Oh, okay. okay. So it was going, That's a good oh. idea. And they're so inexpensive. Just for your sponges and all that stuff. All that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah. Although I don't use sponges, but I that's know. another day. Okay, We've right. We've talked about that. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I get it. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. So you're doing really well. I'm still okay. I know. You're like walking anomaly. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So I don't know about you, but string in the in the drawer drives me crazy. Yes. And so I put all my string in a terracotta, and then I. Just just pull it out. Oh, Isn't that kind of cool? Scientist, you. I know, I know. I'm a genius. I can't help it. And then it never gets tangled. It never gets tangled. And you can do multiple ones. You could even do this as crafts, you know, where you have multiple yes. ones for ribbons or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now. I always worry about people that have arthritis that can't open jars. Mm -hmm. And you can buy those jar openers, they're expensive, but mm -hmm. duct tape Does the trick. works really well because it gives you that grip. Rip. There you go. Okay, can so. Can I tell you my hack? Yeah. An what, elastic. What is it? I tried the elastic, yeah. but it doesn't have enough grip for me. The big fat elastic the big that fat can you get off your broccoli. Yes, exactly. Yes. I know those ones. That one. I know. It doesn't work for it me. It doesn't work for you. Yeah. Okay. And All right, so the you, duct tape it is. Yeah, and this works. I, I actually was on a shoot once when I was an actress and I hemmed an entire skirt with this yes. and it stayed on for like nine years it was amazing <laughs> yeah but it doesn't it does everything don't use it to wax your legs it hurts it no. hurt. anyway don't do that I did try that anyway okay so uh, all right so you're barbecuing and it's dark out yeah and you go but I really I really want to eat and right? so you go to your yeah this is these are amazing uh, Scott has one too and it's just so much fun to be an idiot and, and you know what that. they're both incredibly immature and it works and it goes right down to the barbecue. See, it's not because yeah. of a flashlight. I tried taping one with duct it's tape on top. It's you have too to use hard. Your hands. It's too hard. <laughs> you bet. I just broke down and bought it. Now that I've wrecked my hair. Okay. That's amazing. Right, okay. What a good Sorry, way of using that. that. And that's at the hardware store. Hardware that's store. The, like you yeah. get that where you get your tools. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of tools, um, yeah. do not take up too much room in your cupboard. Mm -hmm. I have a toolbox just for all my cake decorating stuff. Oh. And so that's just downstairs. And that whenever I need, I want to do a cake decorating, that's I just go and get it. Or the little tiny things. But they're all in here, so I know where they are, but they don't take up a valuable uh, drawer in your kitchen if you don't right. use them very often, okay? That's true, and because maybe you're only baking one time of year, maybe you're a Christmas exactly. baker, and that's exactly. when you pull it out, that's very smart. Exactly. So you just like, and it's like, there you go. Okay. I like this. Now, Fresh in your breath. Okay, yes. Or, what are you using it for? Okay, so garlic stinks, but it's good for you. I love and it. And I use a lot of garlic. Yeah. And one of the biggest tricks for stinky hands is to rub it on stainless steel. So I used to have oh. a stainless steel sink, yeah. and so as soon as your hands are all garlicky, you just rub it on there with some water, and, the and it, it, there's a chemical reaction, it takes the stink away. I didn't know that. I have a porcelain sink now. What am I going to do? Oh. So I use my, this is a, a pastry scraper. Yeah. Or you can use a great big uh, uh, flipper. Mm -hmm. Technical word. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> or a spatula. Right. And if that doesn't work, then you can always use mouthwash. To wash yeah. your hands? So you drink it and you stick your fingers in. I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just rinse your hands with, with, the, with that. Oh, I didn't realize that. Because yeah, it, it's it, going to do better than soap and water. Soap and water, you're, it's still going to be garlicky. It's still garlicky. It takes <gasps> out stinky breath. It takes out stinky fingers. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a weird thing. All anyway, right. Okay. Uh, stains in your teapot. Yeah. There, there's a really big one. Okay, so you can And you're use, a big tea woman. I'm a big tea. And you know what? I wash my teapot out every day, so like I had to make this go stainies just to show you. Right. Um, but you would either do salt and uh, lemon. Uh-huh. Or uh, you can do baking soda and water and let it soak for about an hour. Okay. Or you can use a uh, dental if you have anybody that has dentures or mm -hmm. a, a, like a sleep guard. Yes. You could put that in there with the water and it takes the stains out too. Ooh, good to I know. know. And all those things are edible, so you're all good. Well, you're not edible. Good. You don't want to eat it. But no, you can no, no. But if put you put it in your, in your mouth, mouth, it's okay. Exactly. Exactly. Right? Right. And you can put okay. them in the in the, the dishwasher, but like you might wreck this. And especially if it's a good teapot, you don't want to do the that. The dishwasher's not going to get the stains out. Well, it kind of does, find. but it's not very good. Yeah. Okay. Berry stains on a board, really easy. Just oh, so you vinegar. did that on purpose. I did it on purpose. I'm like, Marilyn never brings dirty stuff in here. That's so interesting. <laughs> yeah, so, but you're going to let it sit and you got to let it sit. I've seen people do the hack and it's like really quick, but you got to let it sit and let that absorb. Okay. Now, my next biggest one, and I hope we have time, is a, we a do. dirty pot. Okay, so here's the pot that looks like this now. Keep holding that up now because I want you to remember what it looks like now. Yes. And then take a look at the video of how this looked after she burnt, what'd you burn? I burnt barley and there was a smoke alarm went off in my house. Oh my God. Now you add boiling water, you cover it with a lid, you yeah. let it sit for about 30 minutes and you get a wooden sort of a scraper. Like it was a mess. Uh, it was a mess, like honestly, like it, my house still smells like, <laughs> like, burnt, like barley. burnt barley. You <laughs> scrape it up and then you add vinegar. Yeah. You bring it to the boil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when that is uh, boiled up, you add baking soda. Yes. And then you scrub the heck out of it, and it looks like this after. You're kidding me. I'm not kidding. Yeah. Okay, so that's how it looked, yeah. and then that's how it looks. That's absolutely amazing. And that's no in no commercial, you know, cleaners. It's just elbow grease and some natural products. Was that shot on your iPhone? Because that was looked like yeah. a commercial. Yeah, it was shot on you my iPhone. You can sell that pot now. <laughs> like I would buy it. I'd be like, oh my gosh, I want the magic potion. But that's all you did in that order. That's all I did. You in that boil order. it. Yep. You put the vinegar. Was it vinegar? Vinegar after you. Uh, so you have to it, when it's bit petrified to the pot. Yes. You have to soften it up again. So the, yes. the, the big trick and a lot of hacks on the internet, they don't tell you that. Uh -huh. So mine is you always put boiling water in. Don't put cold, you'll warp your pot. Oh, okay. So the boiling water, then you, you let it come to a boil again. Yeah. So you're actually rehydrating it. Yes. Then you scrape all that off. Then you do the vinegar and then the baking soda. Is it ever right. too late? Because I'm thinking of my pots right now. Is it too late? <laughs> Uh, let's do a segment on that because I don't know the answer. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I wonder if yeah. it's been crusted in for yeah. a while. Yeah. Like yeah. now what? Yeah. Well, it might still okay. work because Maybe it's a chemical a reaction with the with the vinegar. Okay. Okay. Here's right. one that I know you're gonna love. So you have wine. a bottle of wine that isn't cold enough. Okay. I don't know why it is not cold because there's always wine in my fridge. Right. But anyway, <laughs> so you get a wet a, a wet tea towel because cold um, is is transferred when something's wet better. You know when you're cold okay. and if you're wet you're even yeah, yeah, colder. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you get a wet tea towel, wrap it around it, and then you stick it in the in the freezer. Uh -huh. and, and then it just freezes on and it conducts it and it's nice and freezing cold. So that, that speeds up the whole process. It speeds up the whole process. I have more, but we'll do them maybe another day. Okay, or well you whatever. can do one more. The can last I, hack. Can I do one, uh, yeah. one more? Okay, uh, this is my butter chip. Yeah. Butter's on sale. It was really on sale this yes. last week. I bought so much of it. Good. And then I cut it into portions uh, and I label it because uh, I use a half and a quarter cup. Yes. And I put it in and then I freeze it because it's unsalted and it goes bad fast. Right. And then when I go to bake the night before, take it out, boom. Oh, nice. Yeah. And you got these little packages rather than this big thing. I know. You can't get it frozen anyway. No. Well, I just use it to Thank you so much.